Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how we can add constraint programmatically uh, with uh, visual format. So first of all, I need to just uh, go briefly about the constraints. So uh, if you heard about uh, auto layout, uh, for sure you know constraints. So constraints, uh, it's uh, kind of a rule that uh, mm, pin your elements in a specific location of the view and we can add constraint in different ways we can add uh, constraint programmatically or we can add it uh, by uh, storyboard or user interface uh, which is uh, of course static but if you add it programmatically it's gonna be dynamic so even for adding uh, we, by program we have several ways one of the ways are visual formats which is uh, a little bit uh, tricky but I believe it's uh, much easier than others okay so of course you can find source code of this uh, video in uh, our github link uh, will be on comment down below okay so let's start our project so before doing that I just show you that output will be like this we will have one view that we added uh, by storyboard and inside that view we will add two more view and we stick them with constraints uh, in any you know location that we like to be uh, so yeah uh, let's go to our project so file new project and single view app so we can name it and uh, so constraint with visual format I name it as you want and uh, so language Swift And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this. I will see a check mark GitHub because I'm gonna push it to Git as soon as uh, we're done here, and then uh, it will be available for you folks in uh, GitHub. Okay, so as soon as we made that, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to our main storyboard, and I'll put one uh, view here, static. So. Yeah, and one view gonna be this guy, and we put it uh, in our storyboard. But now we need to fix it, uh, fix this uh, this constraint. So here I'm gonna fix it, and then I'll show you it. It is this constraint that we define inside our view with uh, interface but inside this view we're gonna add uh, more constraint and view with by program even we can do this by program but I want to do mixture for you folks to get idea of with both methods okay so I make this uh, to be center and you will see it's red and I get this uh, warning here that uh, say missing constraints so uh, what are those missings uh, this means that we need to mention that uh, what is the width and height uh, so for doing that I control drag from this to super view and say equal width and also again control drag with view and I choose it to equal height but I don't want to be equal so I come here to inspector tab and now I have access to my constraints so these are my static constraints and you'll see that say align center 
a Greg and Anaheim Center X also equal with to super view so I just say not equal gonna be 0 0.8 so 80 percent and this also 0 0.8 okay so our view also uh, I'm gonna go to attribute tab and uh, give it a uh, background uh, one light color something like this to be visible okay so inside this I'm gonna add uh, my uh, you know elements by program but also I need to connect this uh, to my view controller I can use this uh, assistant editor uh, and doing control drag also I can come here and here between on top of the view controller or in my class as an attribute I can add this uh, outlet so IB outlets and from type of weak actually variable uh, weak variable which is uh, not strong and and I name it sample view and from type of UI view also um, never been uh, nil okay so uh, but this need to connect so I come back to main storyboard I'll click on this yellow button or select and click here and then I'll come to inspector tab and here I have sample view so from here I drag not control just drag from that one to my view and now this is connected okay so let's go to our coding part so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add uh, two uh, property which gonna be one, two label and, uh, and uh, I'm gonna add them to my view in my view did load so also, uh, um, uh, for doing that, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna extend UI view here. So I just say extension, extension what? Extension UI view. This is a good uh, feature in Swift that you can extend uh, your native, uh, um, you know, libraries. Uh, pretty easy like this so I add one function here and I name this function add const trained with formats we see and I say okay as a parameter get for me one Format. You, you will see I put here on their line. This mean this means broadcasting. So when I uh, declare this and from type of a string, so format from type of a string. So this means that when I'm calling this function, I don't need to mention format. And uh, also I add one views. from type of UI view and I put one two three dot after so this means this uh, three dots tell, uh, tell to the uh, Swift that this view can get uh, from one to how many um, elements with uh, just comma we can separate them and for return uh, nothing return and here gonna be our function so what will be our function uh, first of all I declare a variable by the name of view dictionary and uh, which is equal an array of uh, a string and UI view and I put open and close open and close uh, question uh, parentheses means that uh, uh, this uh, run this right away for me and then I say for 
index and view so one tuple in this uh, views which is this view uh, from coming from the signature or uh, we call it parameter here and uh, because I use this tuple I make this array enumerated so we have index uh, at the same time we have value so we have index of the array and value of the array and here I just say let key equal what so key equal v a slash open and close so I want to put a variable here and here is index so uh, my key gonna be this and here I say okay view that I have on top dot translate authorization authorizing mask into constraints so a boolean value that determine whether the view authorizing mask is translated into auto layout constraint okay so we say do you want to translate it i say no do not translate it for me okay and uh, then i come to my dictionary view dictionary and from uh, index of key equal view so so what I do I'm gonna make my view dictionary and when I make this I'm gonna pass it to the main function that exists in library uh, for visual format so this uh, gonna be const add constraint ns layout um, uh, yeah so uh, to do that I just say n s add constraint ns layout mm, I believe this one gonna be add constraint uh, constraints NS layout constraint. So uh, I choose this one. Let's see if it's the same one I want. And here I tap enter. No, it's not the one I think, but uh, let me try. So NS layout constraint. Okay, that dot con. Train. Oh, okay, yeah, I think this is the one. Uh, uh, dot constraint with visual format string option. Yes, this is the one we're looking for. So, so format right away. I get it from this uh, signature of the function. Give it to here to it and options. So options uh, gonna be empty array and the metric gonna be nil and the view this is the views actually yeah so we made this here and mm, we gonna pass it here to so view diction okay and yes i think we're done Yes, here I just put two in the empty array. Okay, so yes, we are done with this. Uh, so we made this function, uh, which make it uh, more uh, easy for us to declare. And now uh, we will go and uh, add our uh, labels so I gonna make that those labels so I say let's uh, date time label from type of UI label equal 
open parentheses and close and also run it for me so what gonna be uh, this uh, it's gonna it's a closure yeah so inside this closure uh, first of all I say okay uh, let's uh, I create one label and uh, this label is equal one UI label open and close so one brand new label and uh, I need to return a label uh, return this so I just say return this label for me but before I return it uh, I'm gonna add some properties so I just say okay my label text I give it a text equal you can get this text uh, from somewhere else but uh, for now I'm gonna give it uh, some text for example this is the time p.m. okay after a text uh, I want to give it alignment so for label dot text alignment you know I do this uh, attributes also to give you idea if you want to add one label how you can uh, how different uh, property uh, attribute you can uh, declare that we do usually with you uh, user storyboard mm, yes uh, with storyboard and uh, okay font so for changing font uh, we just say label font and here so I use preferred font because I want to uh, learn you about the preferred font. So preferred font, also we have a separate uh, uh, video for that. Uh, it's about the dynamic. So uh, this uh, preferred font is uh, just you have a, a different category of uh, you know font style, and uh, this gonna change by your screen size so for, for example if you use this in uh, if uh, you use this uh, preferred font uh, when you call uh, you know open your app in iPhone it's gonna be one size um, suitable for iPhone and when it goes to iPad it's gonna be a, a match with iPad so it's the best uh, if you want to uh, use uh, uh, you know different uh, devices but here I uh, just in as a comment I give you idea if you want to use uh, another kind of uh, UI font uh, with uh, system font so here you can give it size even uh, you can give it uh, font uh, name so this is uh, another way I just put it at a comment for you okay so label I'm gonna give it background color label dot uh, liar let's see well what is the uh, you know description of liar so liar the views core animation layer used for rendering okay so label that layer and that background color so here I just say UI color dot gray it's gonna oh, UI view what uh, UI color yes UI color dot for example gray I will get error why because background color type supposed to be CG color so cannot assign value of UI color to uh, CG color type uh, optional CG color uh, so it's offer you to use this but I give you another array so here you can just put one dot and CG color so uh, let's see uh, what is the description for CG color the quartz color referring uh, that uh, corresponds uh, to received colors 
so it's gonna convert your UI color format to CG color uh, in one video we will go over UI color and CG color and try to figure out so what's the different and what's the advantage of either of uh, them okay so for label also I want to give color to text so color text gonna be UI color dot white but here it's UI color is okay and finally I'm gonna make corner of my label because background color is gray so uh, I make corners to be a little bit uh, radius uh, with 5 okay so this is the description of uh, my first label I'm gonna copy paste from this and make my second one so I named the second one for example uh, sub title label for example yeah and so this is a UI uh, label uh, just for text I just I write something for example time for pick up and alignment center preferred okay so for that one I said the preferred body but here I just say prefer caption so something like in a subtitle yeah and uh, for text color I just say my text color gonna be blue and I don't want background for that okay and yeah returning so now I made that one so the only action I need to do now first of all I will call my sample view in my view did load so sample view and I'm gonna add sub view to that so with it, what is this for sub view it's gonna be my date date time label also it's gonna be my sub title label so I'm gonna add them and now I'm gonna add constraint to say where this gonna sit so I uh, just say again sample view dot add constraint so these are uh, original function from library but this is my function that I made okay so I pick up this one and now I'm gonna use my format so format what is the format here uh, I'm gonna add uh, horizontal so horizontal is start with capital H uh, and then column and uh, this line and dash one zero which is 10 pixel and again dash and here I'm gonna uh, uh, you know say v0 if you look at here I just make put one V actually this V is a small yeah but here I wrote capital no it's uh, so here I need to write small V v0 means the uh, you know first uh, view so here I write uh, what's gonna be daytime label I can do more uh, later I'm gonna do that but for now really yeah uh, let me to add uh, two uh, let me add uh, another one uh, in another line so if I add label here they they all gonna be in one line but uh, if I add it it's gonna be under this line and here I just say my subtitle label okay and uh, here uh, so I just say horizontal V and uh, mm, uh, yes uh, 10 and V0 
but inside the, this uh, curly bracket, uh, in, sorry, inside this uh, bracket, not curly, in, inside the bracket, I just can say size of this label. So I uh, just say, let me put a small number, uh, 50. So size is uh, 50 and uh, yeah, ending with a slash. Yeah, nah, nothing. So yes, and the view uh, gonna be my uh, my uh, my subtitle. Yes, but I need to add uh, vertical as well. Otherwise, we will get error. So I uh, just say add constraint with format and format uh, for vertical. Start with uh, V and. Uh, like this so when I put this uh, line here means that uh, super view first uh, start so that uh, means that stick to this if I put, don't put this it's not gonna aesthetic so this is the super view on top this is super view on the left or uh, uh, reading okay so uh, yes here so I just say uh, come 10 pixel down and uh, put my V0 and for example 2200 mm, or 220 and then my other button eye of the view so this view gonna be date and time label also I make another one uh, this one I make it different so I don't want to uh, I make it uh, kind of uh, from button so uh, it will start you know I stick this to the button and the uh, size of this uh, I just say 50 like the Actually, 10, it's uh, 30 because it's height is 10, 10 is enough. So, yeah, this is uh, what we did. So, let's go and see how gonna be output. Uh, I have this uh, one, let's see what is this iPhone 5s. So, I have this one open. So, I just say my output sitting in iPhone 5s. And Mm, let me run it to see what's going on. So I run this and uh, see how it's working. Yeah, it success uh, succeeded, and yeah, here I have my view, and here is. So you will see that uh, this one, uh, it's correct my date time because I add this one to wrong one so if i just say subtitle label then uh, you will see that that uh, this text will go and stick to the bottom of uh, the view yes here yeah. it's sticking here okay uh, now I want to uh, play with this a little bit to give, uh, actually give you an idea how much easy it's gonna be this actually make your job it's much easier than using you know user interface and uh, much faster usually that's why the major company usually they're using a program for making their uh, view Okay, so uh, what else I can do? Uh, now I'm gonna comment this and I put my view here because we know that uh, we added, we made our function to be in a way that get this as an array. So, and here I put my sub title label as a second view. But when I put that there, I need to have it here so here I just say okay give 10 space between and put my v1 this time okay 
which is this one. So uh, now this should go and be come to this line. Let's see. But I stick it uh, to the bottom. So uh, and also I'm gonna remove. The, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let me remove this and see how. Control R and so we stop uh, the previous one and run this one again. Yeah, here we go, sitting here. And uh, now I just say, okay, stick it to the button. And yeah, okay, so now it will bring it down. You will see how uh, you know handy gonna be this. If you work with this uh, for uh, you know a while, then yeah, here you go. So we have this label top, this one here. But uh, I, you know, uh, we done uh, with this. But I want to give you one extra hint, which is uh, padding. So you will see that this label uh, there is no space in between. So you can put the space in text, but it's not working properly. So, for adding path, uh, I will make another video for that one as well. But here I'm gonna give you idea how it's gonna be. So, uh, under my uh, extension, I'm gonna learn you new things in uh, in Swift, which is uh, very strong. So IB design, IB design. IB yes, able class. Uh, so I make a class by the name of padding label with uh, super uh, super library UI label. Okay, I make this. So, uh, what's the plan? I'm gonna uh, make another uh, library that has different attributes, so which is has padding in there. I can even extend a UI label, but I want to do something different. So, uh, to give you idea, so I say, okay, I be this time inspectable. So, I'm one variable, and I just say top in sets okay and this is from a type of cg float and value 5.0 okay so i make this uh, copy 4 and this one gonna be instead of top gonna be bottom value same 5 from left value 16 and uh, from right value 16 okay and here I'm gonna overwrite so I want to change one function which is exists in this library in UI label library function what is that draw text in rect okay and uh, so in rect cg rect so i'm gonna overwrite this and what then i just say let in sets equal ui edge in sets dot in it but not that one a dot in it yeah this in it and from top top inset from left left inset and from button button inset and from right, right instead. 
So I'm, I add edge inset to this draw text and what else I need to do? I just will say my super dot draw text in rect by this uh, just in rect just uh, like this this guy in rect dot in set we will see by edge in set that we just this script so by edge in set uh, which is just in set that uh, I declare so what I say I just say okay add this uh, you know padding to my super draw text so this they're gonna be this padding and also I override so let me see if I run if I call in function yes in uh, in sorry in friction size yeah it's gonna call override put override for them so you just can call this but I'm gonna make a property uh, uh, for that um, actually a computed property and I uh, just said let size equal super super means that uh, from uh, um, you know parent pick up pick up this and uh, you know we just uh, really play in uh, you know this this is the one uh, child from UI label so from we, we, we pick up this function from UI label and we customize it for this child so uh, here as it says super then in intrinsic content size intrinsic in intrinsic content size yes size gonna be super intrinsic size size and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna return CG size CG size what CG size with different widths and high yeah yes in different width and high uh, with CG float so width gonna be size dot width now this time plus left inset plus right so width gonna be uh, bigger in like left and right and for height I just say again size dot height plus top and plus button and set yes so uh, we make this so I want uh, we made this uh, uh, designable class uh, by the name of padding label so what else uh, what I just need to do you know with this designable even we have a video for that we do we can do much more it's really handy uh, if you learn that if you can make anything you like any user interface you like dynamically mm, pretty easy but uh, for now I just wants to give you some short idea and so what I just do I just come here and here instead of UI label I uh, just say padding label I believe I'm done and uh, then you will see that padding will sit here control R means that's run the game stop the previous one run this one again and yeah build succeeded I love this uh, message and he will sit here here we go padding sit here but you will see that this gun uh, you know because it's uh, come exactly these are in one line push this 
And so I'm gonna again. Yeah, let me copy. No, I'm gonna copy this. Command C, Command V. I'm gonna comment this and uncomment this and also make this one again back to one view because I want them to be one two different lines so now I run it and you will see that uh, then they are not in one line so yeah here you go but uh, yeah, I just this is a stick from here. I want to stick it now this time from ending. Yeah. Also, yeah, so you see, size is uh, yeah, you know 50, that's why this is small. I can remove the size or I can increase it. So I just say make it 100. Yes, here you go. You'll see this is uh, uh, full size and yes, there is overlap here because they are not in one line. So, yeah, I believe uh, that's it uh, for today. I hope you like it. If you like it, uh, please make sure to give a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I try uh, to uh, have more videos during this uh, COVID 19 pandemic and uh, to actually free make free our mind uh, from this and uh, do our part so if you have any question please ask and comment below and uh, don't forget to watch next uh, video if uh, in your convenience and i wish the best for you and uh, be safe take care of yourself keep uh, social distance have a good one bye bye